Well, the news is finally here. Pokemon 2019, or should I say Pokemon Journeys, is getting an English dub. I mean, obviously it was going to, but this announcement certainly took its time. The first episode aired in Japan over half a year ago, that's a pretty big gap. But, in the US at least, the series is leaving cable and becoming a Netflix original series. Which, can I just rant here for a second? At first Netflix used the term Netflix original to describe series they made themselves. But they've started using it on foreign shows they get the license to, which is kind of misleading. They should really get some kind of new title for imported shows. Just had to get that off my chest, it's always bothered me. Also, Netflix told me Attack on Titan is a hidden gem. In what universe? You couldn't escape the show for a while. But, and I don't mean to brag, I kind of expected this to happen. Pokemon's current network in the US, Disney XD, has been becoming a shell of its former self with all the shows that have ended. And Disney doesn't seem to be actively trying to improve it either, with nearly all of their new content going to Disney Plus instead. Pokemon was basically showing new episodes in the US on a dying network in a dying medium. Change was kind of inevitable. And with Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution being a... <sighs> Netflix original, along with no news from Disney, yeah, this only made sense. Now usually, whatever channel was airing Pokemon would give a little sneak peek not long after the series started in Japan. This is how we got to see the first two XY episodes only two days after the Japanese airing. But nope, nothing this time. Although Netflix does have a new style of dropping episodes, they'll be released in groups of 12 every three months starting in June. Personally, I would have preferred weekly episodes, but this is just how Netflix seems to like to do things. And with the unfortunate hiatus the anime is currently on in Japan due to current events, there's definitely a possibility for the dub to catch up. Trailer-wise, there isn't really too much crazy stuff to break down, although Professor Sakuragi's name will instead be Professor Cerise, which is actually pretty interesting. He's named after cherry trees, keeping with the professor naming pattern they've set up, and all other languages have seemingly translated his name into their word for cherry or cherry tree. But his English name, Cerise, is actually the French word for cherry. I mean, yeah, Professor Cherry sounds kind of... dumb, but it just seems kind of random that the English dub would use the French name. I mean, what is this, Gen 6? There's also a new band performing the English opening, which a lot of people seem to be happy about. Nothing against Ed Goldfarb and The Sad Truth, but it's pretty clear they haven't necessarily been fan favorites. And hey, I'm pretty confident that we may be hearing the Japanese OST once again, which is certainly good news. The music is honestly what's been keeping me from watching the Sun and Moon dub, and I'd love for this phase to finally be over. Because, let's be honest, not being able to hear the incredible Japanese soundtrack in XY or Sun and Moon, now that's a sad truth. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the English dub of Pokemon Journeys, if that's what we're calling it now. I never liked the title Pokemon 2019. I mean, it started in mid-November. That's basically 2020. I just hope they don't screw up Koharu's voice, or give her some dumb English name like, I don't know, Karen. Okay, that would actually be pretty hilarious. I could totally see Koharu being a total Karen when she grows up. You gotta admit, she's kinda got that vibe. Hey, sorry this video was kind of more directed towards US audiences. I know you guys in Canada are getting the anime like a month early, so lucky you I guess. I feel like I need something to say at the beginning of my videos. Like, what if I called all my viewers chocolate cornets or, I don't know, dumb chihuahuas? Tell me what you want. Okay, bye.